my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. I want to go ahead and get into this Tiffany Haddish debate because Tiffany Haddish has been getting a lot of backlash from her followers. I mean, people were even saying that Tiffany Haddish should be canceled after this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're going to go ahead and get into more information from GBNews.com. Shout out to them. We will also have the link in the description. It says, Hollywood actress branded as tone deaf after traveling first class to see Hamas conflict. She said, I need to see it for myself. Tiffany Haddish has faced a barrage of criticism from her social media followers after making clout-worthy comments regarding the conflict. Tiffany Haddish has been blasted by her social media followers after she posted a clip of herself stating that she didn't believe everything that she had heard about the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. Nursing an orange juice in first class pod, Haddish noted that she was sleepy as I don't know what ahead of her 16-hour flight out from Los Angeles preparing for what she was about to witness. Addressing her 7.4 million Instagram followers, she revealed that she was planning on visiting Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, in the blank sea to enlighten herself on the conflict which began October the 7th, 2023. The conflict clicked off with Hamas let's just say g-u-n men for you know the safety of youtube rules stormed into israel and off we'll also say that too 1200 people firing thousands of rockets revealing her reason to fly to israel the comedian explained this is an educational trip for me. I'm going to learn about the politics. She said, see, I feel like I can't believe everything that I see on the internet. I need to go and see it for myself. I'm one of those people, okay? Of course, people find this very shocking and mind-blowing. And like a lot of people are saying, they feel like Tiffany Haddish just did this for clout, okay? Even her reasoning, I will get into that a little after I read this article. I just really didn't even understand her reasoning now i felt bad for her because she did get emotional i feel like this in total was a learning experience for her but i digress let's go ahead and get into the topic she also said i'm going to see for myself i'm going to go and see i'm going to see all of it i'm going to ask questions and see with my own eyes further angering her followers she added i know a lot of stuff on social media be not true because i see stuff people say about me and i live my life i'm living my life and i'm like that's not what i said and that's not true the girl's trip star said that she wanted to form her own opinion based off experience before she spoke publicly about the topic adding that she's personally heard from people on both sides haddish defended her reason for flying over and added that she would show her followers the scene where she was there trying to find out what was going down many of her followers claimed that she was clowning for clout and described her manner to be too cavalier blended with a few wishing her a safe trip one user fumed and said go to gaza not to tel aviv then come back and report otherwise it's like going to wall street and saying that you've seen all of new York. Then another person said the fact that you can fly and holiday in Israel but Gaza is pretty much destroyed gives you all of the information you really need. This isn't war, it's genocide. Another slam. Unhappy with her reasoning, a third person expressed, yeah I'm out. You're on the wrong side of history. Free Palestine. Okay so later on Tiffany Haddish decided to speak out once again and she got very emotional. She was basically talking about oh like I told Monique you know I'm in this by myself. So her reasoning for this, I understand what she's saying. Okay, I need to see this for myself. Even that doesn't make sense, but I understand that that was her reasoning. I want people to understand. I'm not saying that I understand where she's coming from. I understand that that's her reasoning. But when she decided to speak out actually away from Instagram Live, she started to get emotional and she's like, I'm in this. I'm doing this all by myself. All I have to say, guys, is that Tiffany Haddish could have kept this off of social media media and she would not be getting as much backlash and criticism as she's getting right now you do not have to bring everything to social media and i feel like this is a lesson learned for tiffany haddish i feel like she wanted to go on this trip like she said for educational purposes but the education is in you don't have to post everything on social media so you don't have to get backlash like she could have kept this off of social media came back from the trip and let people know look i visited and this is what i learned this is the education that i I learned this is what is going on you know what i'm saying but she didn't have to film the whole thing because it just seemed like 
like a lot of people are saying it was just for clout now like i said i do feel bad that she did get emotional about the situation but we all gotta learn our lessons don't bring everything to social media i think she would have been happier not bringing it to social media and i think tiffany haddish i'm not gonna get too much into her personals but i think tiffany haddish is very lonely and i think it's pretty sad because for her to relate this situation to the monique situation and talk about oh yeah i'm doing this all by myself like the way that she was speaking and getting emotional it was sad i think she's really lonely and she wants someone and she kind of depends on social media to kind of be her person or her people to talk to or to be around but like i said i want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section you guys let me know let's go ahead and move on to young miami and ari okay so this is not even really so much about young miami and ari as much as it is about this fan so it looks like this fan ran into young miami and ari at all stars weekend and she was trying to say something to young miami and she was trying to say something to ari she was like oh here's my good sis Carisha, here's my good sis Ari. She was trying to just wave and say hi to them, you know, hyping them up. Now, Young Miami, she walks right past. She doesn't say anything. It almost seems like Young Miami didn't really hear her. But Ari is somewhat walking closer to her when they're walking out of the building. Of course, it seems like Ari heard her and Ari did say hi. Ari did smile at her. She did say hi. She did say something to her. Now, this fan gets home. She decides to make a TikTok video and she posts and she says, unpopular opinion, Young Miami is mean as sf and ari is mad nice and friendly so this tiktok user is very upset because young miami did not wave she did not say hi to her she didn't interact with her when she was trying to say hi to young miami and like a lot of people are saying in the comments and i do agree even seeing the video not even reading the comments it just seems like young miami just did not hear her she got very upset and she's like yo young miami you are mean i will get into the audio right here the super boy experience and let me tell you child carisha is me i'm like hi girl my good sis miami she just not acknowledging me. Mind you, I'm security. I'm not no regular guest. So you could fake look up and address me like, hey, girl. She just left me hanging. But you see my guest is Ari, though. She like, hi. Right, Ari. Continue to be the nice. Because, yeah, Miami is not so Miami. And I hope you see this video, too. But you mean tell so I'm cute too. Why you treat me like that? honestly i just felt like sis was a little too much in her feelings and i was just like oh gosh like honestly guys i know that i'm a blogger but i really do not want people to really glorify and obsess over these celebrities if anything like i said i understand that celebrities are in the limelight and a lot of stuff that they go through a lot of us normal people go through and i just report on it so we can feel like we're all in this together we're all human we can all get advice from the things that these celebrities are going through similar to the things that we go through but do i want people to be obsessing to where they're getting mad and you know but hurt that a celebrity didn't say anything to them or wave hi to them no like young miami jt ari sierra beyonce everybody is like everyone else okay you know they do everything that we do they get sick like we do they go to the bathroom like we do they do their hair they gotta put their clothes on they wake up they go to sleep same thing they eat every day like we all do so do not get butt hurt you know what i'm saying that these celebrities if you run into a celebrity and they don't say anything to you they don't want to take a picture with you don't feel discouraged don't feel bad i can really tell that this girl really really felt bad and that's why she made a video and it kind of brought out some insecurity in her because even you guys can hear in the audio she's like and i'm cute too so why wouldn't you want to say anything to me I, I, it's nothing about you being cute you know what i'm saying it just showed a lot of like i said insecurity i just don't think anybody should get butt hurt about these celebrities as long as you know yourself and love yourself you're not going to feel some type away just because young miami or whoever didn't say anything to you yeah celebrities might have all this money and all this fame but like i said they're human just like everybody else it is what it is like i said i honestly just think it was young miami didn't hear her young miami was on the further side than ari was of course ari would hear her because she was closer you're gonna be all right you're still gonna sleep good you're still gonna eat good 
even if a celebrity don't acknowledge you but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section maybe y'all feel like young miami is me in real life i don't know once again thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night